Hey, Miles here at Tactile Hive, and today I want to talk to you about a common problem a lot of newer shooters experience, and even intermediate shooters. That is shooting low into the left if you are right-handed, or low into the right if you're left-handed. I'm a righty, so I'm going to be demonstrating this exercise addressing more of shooting low into the left. But for those who are left-handed, just take everything I say and do the opposite. Okay? So when we are shooting low into the left, it's typically not a problem with the gun. If your sights work properly and you saw your sights on the target when you pulled the trigger, there's something else that happened if you didn't hit your target. What is that? It's usually sympathetic movement with your hand or your fingers that is causing your sights to move at the very last second. It might be so minute and so fast that you don't even notice the movement of your sights, whether it's a red dot or an iron sight. So I wanna share with you an exercise that can help you get past that problem or that challenge of shooting low into the left, or if you're left-handed, once again, low into the right. There are other things that you should practice, but one of them, this exercise, is gonna focus on moving solely just your trigger finger. It's easier said than done, and you may have heard this many times from different firearms instructors, where when you are squeezing your trigger, pulling, pressing, whatever you wanna call it, just move your trigger finger. But I alluded to sympathetic movement, and typically what's gonna happen is your other fingers are going to come into play, whether it's because you get nervous, you're tense, whatever it might be. And I have a dry pistol right here. See, it's unloaded here. So if you see this here, I'm gonna actually show you the muzzle. Focus on the tip of the muzzle here. If I squeeze these three fingers here, what happens is the tendency is to actually move the muzzle to the left and downwards. And I'm exaggerating. If I was left-handed here and I squeeze the bottom three fingers here, look what happens to the tip of the muzzle. It goes down and to the right. And this is the main culprit to a lot of people shooting low into the left and right-handed and vice versa for left-handed shooters here. So to alleviate that, this exercise is going to teach you and validate that if you just, well, teach you how to just move your trigger finger only and also validate that you can do this meaning you can shoot accurately if you just move your trigger finger. So here for this drill, what's going to happen is we are going to start off very close. We are going to put a pasty up, a one inch pasty, it's very small. You might be intimidated by this target being very small. You're like, I'm never going to hit that. But you know what? We're only going to start from about one yard away. Okay, we're going to be one yard away and we're going to aim at that pasty, but here's the deal. We're only going to use one hand, right? And we are going to grip the pistol just with our thumb and index finger and the web of our hand. These three fingers, which are commonly referred to as the three amigos in the firearms industry, we're not going to use them at all. We're going to keep them off here so that when we break the shot, we don't have any sympathetic movement. I already explained that with these three fingers, they typically will squeeze and move the gun. So this exercise, once again, is going to teach you how to move just your trigger finger and also validate that you can hit this. So I'm one yard away from the target, right in front of it with one inch pasty on the target itself, because that is what I'm going to be engaging. My pistol is dry right now. And what I wanna do is take the time to explain how you're gonna do this. And if you've never done this before, make sure to do this exercise or this drill dry a lot of times until you're very comfortable holding this gun with just your thumb, the web of your hand, and your index finger. So you're going to rack the slide, right? So that you can pull the trigger. Now remember it's dry. But what you wanna do is you're gonna grip the gun as you normally would with one hand. And then what I want you to do is release the three amigos. These three fingers just let go. And you can also, if it makes you comfortable, because we're dry right now, you can put your finger on the trigger when it's pointing down range right here. So you have a little bit more stability. So your touch points are going to be the thumb, the web of your hand, your index finger, and even your finger on the trigger once you are here. But notice my three fingers are not touching the grip. Okay, and what you're gonna do right here is you're going to focus on that one inch pasty and you're going to do dry fire shots here. Your goal is to break the shot, to press the trigger without disturbing the sights while they're on that pasty. Okay, so I did that right there. So that was a good rep. We're dry firing this here. 
So let's go over that one more time. So I'm here. An easy way to establish this drill, guys, you're gonna rack the slide here. Actually, you're stronger with your arms in, so what I would do here at this point is, now that our muzzle is downrange, what we can do is we can actually put our finger, just rest it on the trigger, just for now. This is just an exercise, you would not do this, you're just doing it for the sake of the drill, okay? Do not press the trigger whatsoever, you're just going to lay it, make contact with the trigger. Then, begin to squeeze with your thumb and your index finger and the web of your hand, so there's pressure here, then release your three amigos. You'll see this right here, it's very stable. Now, I can extend my arm. I'm not putting any pressure on the trigger finger or the trigger whatsoever with my finger. I have my sights on the pasty or my red dot or whatever it is you're using. If you are using a red dot, just the quick aside, if you are using a red dot at this distance, your red dot is probably gonna be right around here, depending on how high your red dot is over your, your muzzle, okay? So your barrel. So you have to consider that. If you're using iron sights, then you don't have to worry about that. So once again here, I have my grip. I rest my finger on the trigger. I just make contact with it. I squeeze with my thumb, web my hand and my index finger, then release the three amigos. This is a secure grip, then I extend. From here, I am going to be looking at the target and I'm gonna focus on pulling the trigger straight to the rear, like I was touching my nose or saying, come here with my finger here. And that's all I wanna do. I do not want to see my sights disturbed. So you're gonna do this over and over and over again, okay? Over and over again. Every time you don't want the sights moving from that pasty, and when you finally can do this, let's say 10 times in a row, now you're ready to go live. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this live now and show you the progression here. What you can do if you're succeeding and really hitting that pasty all the time. And then I'm also gonna demonstrate the incorrect way to do it, right? If you're still having some issues here. So I'm going to actually load here. So now I'm hot. So at this point here, I'm going to do the drill exactly what we talked about, right? So I'm going to just make contact with the, tr the trigger with my finger. I'm squeezing tight with the web of my hand, my index finger and my thumb, and then I'm going to extend out. And what I wanna do is I wanna break the shot and just focus on pulling the trigger back. That's it, and I wanna hit the pasty. We'll see that is dead center. That's exactly what I want because I am focusing on just moving the trigger finger. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna pull the trigger finger straight to the rear. Same thing happens there. That is a good shot. So what you're gonna happen here is, as you get comfortable with that, the progression is you could take a step back. So now I'm about two yards here. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. One hand, squeeze very tight with the thumb, index finger, web my hand, get my sights on target, then focus on straight to the rear. Okay? So as we get more comfortable, we can move back. So now I'm gonna to go to three yards here. Okay, same thing here. One hand, I am just focusing on my sights and the trigger finger, pulling straight back to the rear. So that was a little high, felt a little shaky there. I'm gonna do it again. There we go. I'm gonna go dry for a second here. Looking at the target here, we'll see that anywhere in this area is going to be a good shot. What we're trying to avoid is that low left, right? And so you don't see that here whatsoever. Everything is lined up. And this is something that if you can do this with one hand from one, two, or three yards, now imagine you have both hands on your gun and you're just focusing on not moving any other fingers, just your trigger finger, just the trigger finger. There shouldn't be any issue being lined up and you shouldn't have low to the left shots there, okay? Now let's do this incorrectly here. Let's go back to about one yard and I am live here. Now what's gonna happen is I am going to, I am going to really force the trigger and I'm actually pushing the gun. I'm going to actually, even though I don't have my three fingers on the grip, I'm going to push the gun to the left because I'm not pulling the trigger straight to the rear. I'm actually pushing the gun here. So you're gonna see that this is going to actually not hit the pasty here. It actually hit the pasty, but low to the left. I'm gonna do this again. There we go, see that? That is happening because I'm not being patient here. 
I'm dry right now, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm not being patient and pulling the trigger straight to the rear. So as you are doing this dry here, even if you are just holding it with your index finger, the web of your hand, your thumb, you wanna pay attention to the muzzle when you're doing this dry in your sights and pull the trigger straight to the rear. Make sure there's no movement whatsoever with the sights. If you see any movement whatsoever, then you are going to have these shots when you go live. So that's why you need to do this dry fire until there's no movement whatsoever, then add live ammo, then do the drill. This is going to validate that you can do this. You can hit this pasty. Now, once you start going to three yards, it might get harder with one hand. So this is where you could do two hands, but then you're going to search for that same feeling of just moving the actual finger straight to the rear. And if you do do that, then you should have no problems with shooting low to the left or low to the right if you're a left-handed shooter. So that's a simple drill that will focus on one of the principles to proper trigger control, which is moving your finger, just your trigger finger straight to the rear. You don't want to push the gun to the left. You don't want to push the gun to the right with your, your, your trigger finger. And also you don't want to activate the three amigos, which typically is the biggest culprit when you're shooting low to the left or low to the right. If you take this exercise seriously, I can pretty much guarantee you that your shots are going to be more precise. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments how it goes for you. And as always, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.